We'll select it. Let's go to F4 front view. Go ahead and hit keys in A to make it solid, or you can leave it that way if you want to. Now, we want to select all these points right here. Go to your rotation tool and rotate it till you get a in the direction you want till you get a cool little look here that you like. Okay. Now, what you got to do after you do that is scale a little bit because it's shrunk down a little bit. So scale it out just a tiny bit. Okay, to give the tire more round shape. And we're getting some uh, uh, fluctuation right here between these points right here. And I'll show you how to fix that after we get finished with this. So go back to your selection tool, your rectangular selection tool. Select all these right here. Do your rotation tool again. And go back the other way. Let's go a little more extreme with this one. Okay. Your scale tool again. And let's make that a little bit bigger. And you want to kind of line them up. And we're going to go back and go and straighten out all these because these are going to all need to be straightened out. And let's go back to your selection tool again. Push space bar, you can select it. And we'll take that one. And rotation tool, and we'll go back the other way just a little tiny bit. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Pretty good. Okay, F4 again. And let's go ahead. Those look pretty good right there. And we need to take these and scale them down just a little tiny bit to match those. And let's go ahead and redo that. So back, uh, back step one step and undo that. Select a rectangle selection tool and select that one again and scale just a little bit down there we go, we're going to get them smooth shaped and then go ahead and grab the middle one and scale it down just a little tiny bit there we go now you want to go get your knife cut tool again and you want to add a center cut to this one and a center cut for this one and a center cut for this one and this one and this one and this one by doing a tire this way too the polygon count is just jumping tr dramatically uh, each time we make a cut and do this and which makes for a higher polygon tire so if i do a center cut here later on and make this half a tire it'll reduce it by half which will make it more so let's size this up a little bit so it smooths out a little bit so we get more of a good shape right here. What we can do is go ahead to object mode and turn off the hyper nub so we can move around a little bit better. And next we want to select these right here between these two thread tread lines and select this one. And this one needs the most work. That's where we did the extreme sizing and twisting of it. So we want to bring it out till it looks about right. Sometimes you may have to go out to here like that to see what it looks like. Get a good look at the edge here. It's looking pretty good. There we go. F4 again, and we want to do these lines right here. Hit the space bar, go back to the loop selection tool. Back out a little bit so we can grab everything. There we go, and select these right here. Hold the shift key down so we can select all these. I can't wait to get uh, version 10 so that I can have the add to section tool that you've selected so you don't have to keep holding another key down to do it so it just automatically does it. Scale tool again and bring it out just a little bit. There we go. Let's go back and turn on our hyper nub. Here we go. And let's do a little render real quick. Alright, here it comes and there's our tire. All right, with treads. And if we go ahead and go to the object manager with the hyper nub off, we'll just select the cylinder and we'll do object information. We're at 593 kilobytes. So um, that's pretty big for just a little tire. If we look at it for here with the hyper nubs on, it's ooh, 10 megabytes. So let's rename this tire. So I have a tire here. And I'm going to leave it as a tire. If you want to, you can cut it in half and then do a symmetry item, but I'm going to leave it like that because I don't mind 
my system can handle it. But if your system cannot handle it, go ahead and cut it down. I'll do another little thing with tires later on in the tools and tools and tips area on modeling things that you can uh, show you how to do that. So this is just for the model we're working on now. So that's our tire. The next thing we'll be doing is making the rim to go in the tire. 